feel like you all constantly see me in some variation of a black tank top just because that is my thing. When I'm not working, I'm normally in a black tank top if I'm not in my pajamas. So I haven't worn this shirt in a while. It was very colorful. It's the end of March. So I thought I would put it on and be colorful so you guys didn't have to see me in a black tank top again. Next video, I'm probably going to be in a black tank top. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Chloe and today I'm here with a brand new video. Today I'm here with my March wrap up discussing all the books that I read in the month of March. Lots of reading happened this month so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So the first book I read in the month of March is Lucky Girl by Jamie Pacton. I received an ARC from the author in exchange for an honest review as a part of her street team. I gave this book four stars. It is a very quick book to get through, very short, about 250 pages. It is a classic what would you do if you won the lottery. In this case we have a teen girl who won the lottery. She actually won it illegally because she purchased it when she was still 17. There are content warnings for hoarding, parental mental health, and an off-page death of a parent. This is also own voices by rep. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because I did write a review on Goodreads, so I'm going to link that in the description below. I plan on posting this review on Amazon after release date because you can't post reviews until it's been released, so that's my plan. The next book I read was for the March Buzzword Challenge. The word for March was time, so I picked up Once Upon a Time Reawakened. Once Upon a Time is like my all-time favorite television show. I'm currently re-watching the whole series, um, so I thought this would be really fun to read a novelization. They also have some comics that were done with Marvel. This is basically a really watered-down version of season one, and honestly it is not the greatest thing out there. Um, it does have some bits and pieces that aren't in the show, but basically it's just a really watered down version of season one. I don't have much to say about it, I just gave it three stars. I hope you guys are really proud of me for this next one. I read, well I listened to the audiobook for Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I am probably the only one in the world who has not finished this series yet. I have been working on this series for so long um, that it's, it's a miracle when I get one book further. I listened to the majority of this in February. Um, I think I was using it for Shrekathon, but I wasn't able to finish it in time, so I ended up finishing it in early March. This one is huge and very long. Uh, there were times where I, it just, it was never ending, but surprisingly I gave it three and a half stars, which for me with a high fantasy book, that's great. So I'm just going to keep on trekking on with this series. One day I'll have it done. I only have three books left, so one day it will be done. And at this point now the series has taken a completely different turn than how it started. There are times where I actually miss how it was in the beginning, but I'm getting used to it and I'm just, I'm ready to be done with the series. Next I read The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. This was my book of the month pick for January. Um, my very first book of the month pick ever and I am just so glad that I picked up this book. I gave this one five stars. I also wrote a Goodreads review so I'll link that in the description below as well. There are trigger warnings for physical and emotional abuse, mentions of child abuse, an abusive relationship, and a motorcycle accident. This is also my first experience with Sarah Desai so I'm really excited to read her first book, which I believe was The Marriage Game, and her next book coming out later this year, which is The Singles Table. Next I listened to Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. This was my last book that I had on my physical TBR by them. I still have, I believe, one book left in their romance backlist, um, but this is the last one that I owned. I gave this one five stars, and while I did think it was really good and I enjoyed the story, it's not my favorite book by them. I definitely think I need to find something that beats in a holidays because that one was so good. 
I love me a good Christina Lauren romance, so I'm looking forward to picking up more romance backlist from them. I ended up reading a lot of library books this month, at least four books from the library, um, and this next one that I read was one of them, and it was So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. I listened to the audiobook for this, and this was the next book in the Twisted Tales series. I think I've read at least one Twisted Tales book a month so far this year in my effort to catch up. This one was a Cinderella retelling and it was What If Cinderella Never Tried On The Glass Slipper. I don't have too much to say about this, I did give it four stars and I look forward to reading more of the Twisted Tales books. Next I read probably one, definitely my worst rated book so far this year um, and that is Before She Ignites by Jodi Meadows. This was the Booktube Chicks book club pick for March. We just did a live show, so I'll link it in the description below. I'll also link my Goodreads review in the description below as well. I gave this book one and a half stars. Um, I am the minority in enjoyment of this book. Both Desiree and Kat enjoyed this book, and I didn't. I have read things by Jodi Meadows before, but it was Jodi Meadows working with two other authors for the Lady Janie series, so this is my first experience with her writing on her own. I'm gonna be really honest, the half star is only there for brief moments that I found interesting while reading this book. I had a really hard time with this book. I had like stretches of days where I didn't touch it, which was very concerning for me because I was worried I was going to fall into a reading slump. I did read the synopsis before picking up this book, which I tend to do with most books, so I know what I'm getting into, and I feel like the synopsis needed to be rewritten for what this book really is. The continuous time jumps between present and before made it really hard for me to concentrate on this book, and honestly, if it wasn't for book club, I probably would have DNF'd it. To hear everybody else's opinions, I'll link the live show in the description below. You can go check it out. Um, but it was not a fun time for me. I don't know what's going on with my files to where the end is disappearing, but it did and now I don't have the last two books that I read. So I'm here to close out the video since apparently I can't in the original one. So the next book I read was Well Played by Jen DeLuca. This is the sequel to Well Met and this one follows Stacy. While I did enjoy this one, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first one, probably because I really like Simon and Emily in the first one, and that book has just become one of my favorite romances. I gave this one four stars and I'm really excited for the next book to come out later this year. So the last book I read was Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. This was the next one in my uh, Critical Reread series and I just posted that vlog so I will link that in the description below for you guys to go check out. I talk about a lot of stuff in this book. I break it down by each part because this book is split into three different parts and I just want to reiterate the trigger warnings um, that I talk about in that video in this one and that is trigger warnings for um, ra racism and slang against indigenous people, fertility issues, abortion talk, toxic masculinity, and I think there was one more, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway, check out that vlog uh, linked in the description below where I talk about everything that I found in this book. Really quick, I'm going to talk about what I'm currently reading because there are still a few days left in the month. Firstly, I'm reading I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. This is her debut um, and I've read both of her other books. This one's not my favorite, but it is still pretty good. It's if you take to all the boys and mix K-dramas in it, that's this book. And then my current audio um, that I won't finish before the end of the month is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. Um, this is a very big 26 hour audiobook and I think I am eight hours in now, eight or nine hours. Um, so I still have a long way to go but there's a lot going on, things are heating up. And I'm actually warming up to Nesta being the main character. I still love Feyre and Rasand, but I'm, I'm getting used to being with Nesta more. So that is everything that I read in the month of March. That is what I'm currently reading and that is all I have for this video today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you all so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so cold.